Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Seven o'clock. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. So one away here with the bases empty. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. Pitch on the way. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Lamette comes at hitters with a good hard fastball, one that's certainly fun to watch. He's a throwback to kind of guys that he likes his fastball. It's a good fastball, not the best fastball in the game, and he's not afraid to throw it. And you know what else, Matty V? He goes right at the hitters. The count now at two and one. Now here's the pitch. Very mild temperatures as we begin tonight. 58 degrees here at first pitch. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That is third. The second baseman. Mike. Into the box now. Mike Mustakis. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Now the three and two pitch, fouled away. Votto, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Lifted into center field. Grisham is there, two gone. Now in the box, Derek Dietrich. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Derek. Has a look, now the pitch. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2-0 now. Fouled off. The 2-1. This is in the air out to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Digging in, Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half up. of the first. Padre, and the pitch. Fernando, Starts him with a good Junior. rising fastball there for strike one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah, that's the spot right there for an 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt, especially with the bases empty. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Now to the play, Trent Grisham. Starts him out with a cutter, and he gets him to swing through it. One strike. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Now a swing and a miss. Maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. The third baseman. 
First delivery to him on the way. Manny Machado is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes, the count now with the bases empty and two away. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Dietrich is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. with the play Tucker Barnhart as it'll be five six and seven due up to kick off the second inning tight break with the slider there catches the inside for a strike one and one to Tucker Barnhart the one one Comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's got himself a leadoff double to begin the second. That is good. The cover fielder. Stop. And that brings up Scott Shebler as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks and even if you do that it's a tough pitch to keep fair. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone and there's one away. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nicholas Castellanos is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 0. Has a look. Now the pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. Two balls and a strike. To two and two now. From the stretch. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. And the slider gets him swinging to God. The third baseman, number seven, a Eugenio. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Oh 0 and 2, the count to Suarez. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in is the DH, Josh Naylor. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And this one is gone. A home run. Standing in now, Brevik Valera. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Two and one now. Now the pitch. Popped him up. Suarez is over and he puts it away for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. 
There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. I ran that one in on him a bit as this time it's tapped foul at home plate. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. This one's flared out toward left. And that'll get down for a base hit. That is that. The white field. Jerkson Profar digs in next. Swing and he pops him up. Suarez trying to get there. And there's out number two. Stepping in, Tommy Pham. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Bauer pauses. Here's his offering. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. Into right field. That's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting down. At the plate, Francisco Mejia has the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Two, two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be sure. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So coming to the plate, Freddie Galvis, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. In there, no balls and a strike. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Back goes Grisham at the track. The wall, gone to lead off the inning. Into the box, Jesse Winker. He'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. One and one to the Reds' leadoff man. Base is empty here with nobody out. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. In is Joey Votto now. Now here's the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. A 1-1 one -one count to the Reds' first baseman. One out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. called strike that time and it's even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Pham is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for out number two. Digging in for his second at bat. Mike Moustakis. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's a slider that's inside 1 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Even one and one count to Mustakas. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. The one two. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate now, now Derek Wait Dietrich. Derek. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 here in the early going.
That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. He chases out of the zone for strike three. And that's the third out of the game. Bottom of the third now. And stepping up is the shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando. Well, and he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. Now at the plate, Trent Grisham looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up on to first and very quickly two are gone here in the home third. So bases are empty here with two gone and standing in now the always dangerous third baseman Manny Machado. No balls and a strike to count. Two out nobody on. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Made him look silly with that one. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. And the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Dietrich will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Tucker Barnhart. Tucker Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first down. Into the box now. Scott Shebler comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. The 1 1. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Here comes the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. That misses two and oh. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. And there's a base hit on the line. Now batter, third base, Eugenio. In now, Eugenio Suarez. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit, and that'll get down out there near the wall. The runner from first crosses the plate. It's now three to one. To the plate now, Freddie Galvis, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Hit out towards second, reined in. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning.
bottom of the inning now and striding forward the designated hitter Josh Naylor things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning behind 0 2 now inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two and a change up swung on and missed for the first down coming to the plate now Bravik Valera his last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory yeah Matt he's got to make an adjustment right here his swing definitely broke down dropped his back shoulder and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul just behind the fastball there two strikes now go to that well one more time he's been late on the first two and they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2 but he holds back it's 1 and 2 now and the pitch swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone Eric Hosmer to the plate now. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. And a knuckle curve missed that time, 2 and 1. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Osmer around first on his way to second now. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. The right fielder, number 10, Jurek Profar. Here's Jurekson Profar. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Count even now at one and one. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Bauer pauses. Here it comes. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. Still two and two. One run, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Fouled away. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball for the guy in the mound this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy he's thrown a bunch of pitches and this AB hasn't been any different definitely hold on now that ball is down and could score a run and the run will score from second as they cut it to one at three to two now now that no left field right? So now to the plate, Tommy Pham. He swings and grounds it to short, and that's through for a hit. Now back, Hector Francisco Mejia. Into the box now, Francisco Mejia, and it's grounded just foul down the line. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Left side, but well fouled. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Hit to first. Fielded by Votto. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Back to the top of the order now. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. The designated hitter, Jesse Winker.
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Nope. That's inside. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. And it's one and two. Into center field, line drive base hit. So up steps the former MVP Joey Votto as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. And now he'll step off quickly and look the runner back. Two and oh now. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Three and oh now. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Digging in once again, Mike Mustakis. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. And going back to that previous at bat when he hit the two strike breaking ball for a home run, something tells me that this guy, when he gets behind an account, sits on something off speed or the breaking ball. Drew Pomerantz comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Three two pitch is swung on and missed strike three. So runners at first and second here with one away and now Derek Dietrich strides into the batter's box. Has a look now the pitch. Runners are at first and second with one away. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them, but he wasn't able to catch up with that one. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Stays alive, still 0-2. From the belt, kicks and deals. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now Stepping back. into the box, the Tucker Barnhart. Tucker. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Late, one ball, one strike. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. 
swing and a liner. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and Too tight with that one. 3-0. and Padre shortstop ahead with the three-ball, one-strike count. Into his motion. Here comes the 3-1. and one. Scorched to third. Fielded cleanly. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Ready for another oh, shot now. Yeah. Trent Grisham. It's been an 0 for 2 oh. effort for him to this point. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so sick. Meanwhile now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. The third baseman, number 13. And in steps Manny Machado as he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone. One strike to count. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he fouls this one off. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So stepping in, Josh Naylor, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And standing in the outfielder, Scott Shebler. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this one runs up high. Ball one. Cold strike at the knees. One and one. Pitch on the way. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Fam is there and he has it for the out. The Nick back. Castellanos at the plate now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball taken for strike one. On one. Hits are even at seven apiece. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. They love the confidence in that pitch right there going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Line, but speared on a hop. And there are two away now. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Eugenio Suarez. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. A ball and no strikes. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game. And I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. One and one the count. Called strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the camp now, one and two. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Bravik Valera. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. 
On its way is pitch number 75. Oh, one's the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Got him swinging in the dirt. Barnhart recovers. The throw to first is in time, one down. So one gone in the inning now, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Eric Hosmer. And the pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. Barnhart goes to get it, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. The right fielder. Riding in once again. And Jurickson Profile. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. To short. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. New inning set to get underway, and up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. One and two now. One and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. A swing and a ground ball to third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. The one two gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Next to be the designated hitter, Jesse Winker. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Pitch on the way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is popped up. And he'll reach over to his right to make the play. And there's your second out. At the plate, Joey Votto. It was a walk in his last trip. And a first pitch knuckle curve is a called strike. 0 and 1. And Votto's able to lay off that one as the count turns even to one and one. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Settling in now, Tommy Pham. He singled his last time up. Pedro Stroke gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. 
now pitching for the red. Number 46, Pedro. First offering on its way. Hit in the air to center field. Shebler is right there, one down. Coming to the plate now, Francisco Mejia. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Inside here with the cutter as he's lucky that one didn't get him. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Dietrich is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here it comes. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Hey, newsflash, think he was guessing, boys? Because that was an ugly swing right there. Popped him up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that... Into the box, Mike Moustakis. He's working on a one for three thus far. Mike Moustakis. Here comes the first pitch. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And it's fouled away. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. This is skied into short left center. Pham comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. So one away here in the Reds' half of the eighth. And now Derek Dietrich strides into the batter's box. In there for strike one. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. This is pulled into right. There to play it is Profar, and there are two away. Stepping in, now Tucker back. Barnhart. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Andres Munoz enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Rip down the first base line, but a foul ball one and one. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Still a ball and two strikes. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Now batting. The Into the box, Scott Shebler, uh, as he will take strike yeah. one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making oh, better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss. Striding into the box, Trent Grisham. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. First pitch coming, here it is. Grisham. 
Set to deliver the 0-1. Drilled on the ground is short. Fielded by Galvis. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. So one man gone for the Flyers in their half of the eighth. And that'll bring in Manny Machado. He's set and the pitch. And that's by him. It's 0-1. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. And he falls behind 0-2. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now, so now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Josh Naylor. He flew out in his last at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. Suarez is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Stepping into the box, Nicholas Castellanos. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Fouled off. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Back goes Grisham. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Digging in, Eugenio Suarez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. The bat, number three. Good bat. Ready. Standing in now, Freddie Galvis. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. Trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. Yep, and he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Well, obviously not biting on the first two, so it looks as though they'll just go ahead and wave him down to first base for free here. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jesse Winker. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Owen won the count. From the belt, the pitch. That belt. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. I wouldn't be surprised if he uses aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside the zone, one one, might as well fish a little bit further. The count now at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. The first base of the 19, Joey Votto. At the plate, Joey Votto. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. This one's down to third. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And set to go is the second baseman, Bravik Valera. 
First Very pitch good. coming. Here it is. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Comes set with the 0-1. Grounded up the first baseline taken in by Votto and he'll take this on to first and they're down to their final out two away next to the plate for the Padres Jurickson Profar and he needs to make something happen they're down to their final out here in the ninth fouled away he's ready here's the 0 1 good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. San Diego down to their final strike, and he fouls this one off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. This is line to left, and that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Stepping in now, Tommy Pham. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's two for three and looking for more here. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Back up the middle. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. Now batting, catcher. Rysel Iglesias takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Number 26, Rysel Iglesias. Blake now, Francisco Mejia, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. Dietrich is there, makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here played their game and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do well done four to two the final score tonight the Reds led this game from the third inning on and never wavered Trevor Bauer earns the victory on the mound Denelson Lamette was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Klesak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com the final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds four runs on 10 hits.